I wanted to talk to you this morning a little bit about what is happening with the film industry because your career has just taken off. And yeah. what I loved about your role in Sony, which is how I connected with you and wanted to connect with you. And of course, um, also connected at the same time with filmmakers like Lena Yadav, and I would love to connect with Zoe Akhtar because all of you women are embodying roles for women that have not really been um, represented in film as much as uh, they are now. And I think that this new body of filmmakers is really putting forward views and voices of women that haven't been um, put forth up until this point. So I wanna talk a little bit about what is happening in the film industry and what do you think is creating some of these changes? Um, and you can talk also about the movie that currently is playing on Netflix. Sony was on Netflix and now you're in another movie on Netflix, that part. So talk about all of this. Um, uh, first of all, good morning to you. It's, it's night here. Um, so a very good morning to everyone who's on the other side of the globe. And technology is amazing. It is connecting us across borders. Uh, one of my films is on Netflix and the other, Thapar, is on Amazon Prime. Oh, that's, that's right. Where people can, yeah. So um, when, when you say, let's talk about what's happening to the film space, cinema space in India, I must admit I am... I'm not someone who has studied the Indian cinema in depth to be able to be, to, you know, to, to have some great authority on the trends. However, from my personal experience, I, and my, my ability to gauge what's happening around me, I, I can say that our grandmothers were trying to make some space for our mothers to learn something new. Our mothers were trying to create space for newer things for my generation. So a lot of women in my, a lot of women in the last generation, that is my mother's generation, if I may say so, your generation, because I, I, in you, I see an amazing person who's, who has covered, because like you mentioned, your family, um, was one of those families that decided to go abroad, learn, and you know, you, you, the pace of development in the women in your family, you ended up doing the journey that I am doing in this generation in North India. All right. So, so uh, the space that, the, the kind of education and exposure that you got because of the, the depth fast pace of your family, a lot of women in India, in my generation received that. And I think that is now beginning to show in the content that is being created because yes. more and more content creators are women. In a, there are much more women in the decision-making spaces than there were ever before. There, I think there are more female producers now. There are more female directors, more, more female cinematographers, uh, more female, I mean, that's outside the cinema scope, but more female prime ministers, presidents. So I think that is bringing a change. Yeah. Um, uh, in Hyderabad, when I was there last year, I had the opportunity to visit a uh, film institute, the Annapurna uh, Film Institute. And it was so wonderful to hear that the majority of the students um, yeah. were uh, uh, beginning to be women and that women were coming in to learn how to write screenplays, how to make films, how to produce them, how to be set designers, how to do all of those things that I think are really gonna change the face of film and also uh, add the voices of a lot of women um, that previously had not been heard. I'm going to yeah. read to you a little bit from the henna artist because um, I wanna, talk about the importance of film and the kind of impact they make on young people. You know, films are an amazing vehicle for communicating social issues, for communicating voices, for communicating ideas. So here is uh, a little chapter 
where Lakshmi and Radha are painting the hands of these young girls who have assembled for a party that is being held at the at Parvati Singh's house that evening. I'm, I'm very eager. Please go ahead. <laughs> like this same in India, Ishad, Ishad. <laughs> My sister and I sat in the same drawing room, painting henna on the hands of girls from the finest Jappur families, smart in their English dresses, chatting about the latest film they had seen and the clothes their favorite actresses were wearing. Some watched me work, others danced to rock around the clock next to the gramophone. Several were glued to Parvati's Life magazine admiring the photos of the glamorous film star, Madhubala. So, uh, you know, I Someone put that in there. Already before you finish, Dalka, before you finish, before you uttered Madhubala, someone had already written Madhubala and Munro impressed Radha. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, um, you know, so I think even women in the 1950s, which is when this novel is taking place, even back then, they're so influenced by what they're seeing on the film screen. They want to dress like the actresses. They want a hair uh, style like the actresses. They want to copy the mannerisms. Now, do you find that um, you are actually now um, the role model for so many women your age and younger? How does that feel? Um. To, uh, to look back in my life and see who was I looking up to. Because I was not watching TV, I, 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 was, I would hardly watch any TV up till 12th standard. I wasn't watching it, but I remember my grandfather making, me, making sure that I watched this Hindi channel, Hindi news channel, where the news reader was a woman. Oh! Uh, yes, every evening he would make sure that the, uh, the, the television is switched on and uh, the family watches the television and there would be a woman newsreader. Then there was a woman police uh, officer, Kiran Bedi, who he would refer to. Like I had my, I, 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 my hair were growing long, like right now they're pretty long. That is because I want to keep them neutral for the kind of shapes that they can get into. Otherwise, when I was in school, usually women around, girls around me had long hair. Their mothers were making them pretty, making them into girls who were turned into pretty women. I wanted to get my hair chopped. I got my hair chopped and my grandfather <laughs> said, he looks exactly like the police officer. <laughs> I love that. He then would um, mention Indira Gandhi. When one day I was really conscious about uh, my, my teeth looking a certain way. And he said, have you seen that woman whose uh, who's, um, image is usually in the newspapers? And he showed me Indira Gandhi's uh, picture. So I must admit I was not watching television, but inside my house, my, I, I had my grandfather, my grandmother, my mother, I had strong women who were respected. I had a man who would constantly talk about strong women. So I know how important it is to have role models. I remember I, I'm 28 right now. Most of my school friends, all of my female school friends are married. When I was crossing 25, I was wondering okay, now everyone around me is married. But then I thought of the school principal who was 32 back then and was not, she had decided to not get married. Now, I have grown up to be this person who's being seen on screen. I wasn't watching TV, but I know it was important to have role models. It was important to see, to know that she did it. That person did it. So it is good to embrace how unique you are, but it is better to see there have been people, you know, the person who's at, who's, who's, I mean, when you feel vulnerable while doing something new or unique, you have voices and examples to know, oh, someone did it. That's amazing. Like, um, I wouldn't name my friend, but 
she's she's about 45 and she called me after having watched thappar she said i had anyway decided to get separated from my partner wow but i had taken up my decisions and but to watch this film i realized why was i why was my heart so heavy why was i why was it so difficult for me to take that decision she says that you know this this film has made my transition phase easier i'm not afraid now anymore yeah i had this conversation 3 days ago alka wow so yes so this is so this is amazing uh kitika you are being a role model for a lot of these women i mean they are watching these movies and they are they are using it as a template for their life and i think this is really important because you have a heavy responsibility as do the women of your generation who are making some of these movies um for the henna artists i have received so many um uh text messages and also instagram dms from women who are telling me exactly the same thing they're saying this it feels like my story i was married i was in an abusive relationship i got out or i'm trying to get out or i don't know how to get out and uh so there are a lot of us whose voices have been stifled who are seeing ways to um sort of uncover those voices through the work that you and i and other women are doing artistically I mean it's I I feel that with more and more all right so you you with along with your experiences you acquired the skill to write along with their experiences women are acquiring the skills to act to direct to to uh to create stories and take them to the audience and because the women are now looking at them on screen represent so uh what the third part is co-written by a woman so i i would i would come back to giving men the credit where it is due i will come yes. back to it however when when women are seeing themselves represented by an other women they are no more reduced to objects of satisfact satisfying desires right women are themselves being given agency you know exactly every, i previously i remember having watched certain films where every woman with agency was made to dress up a certain way was made to wear a certain red shade of the lipstick a certain haircut yes yes <laughs> and i would i i grew up wondering if i would judge myself even if would, i would want to dress up a certain way the men had portrayed such women in such a light for so long i dared not satisfy my desire to wear a certain colored lipstick or to have a certain haircut or to wear my skirt a certain length why because women every okay so storytellers were setting examples and in their examples every woman every woman who owned her who had agency was a problem and problems were depicted as villainous characters i think when women are writing like when i re- when i read jane eyre when 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 i read um oh uh, i love okay. jane eyre by the way uh i mention it many times in the book because uh rada is always reading jane eyre out loud anyway go on i i, I love that. that's one of my favorite that's one of my favorite books of all time jane eyre i loved her character because she wasn't like every other woman she wasn't a beautiful woman with money and pretty clothes you know she was plain she was considered plain and she was always very fiercely proud of who she was and she knew who she was from the very beginning and lived that life but i'm sorry to interrupt you go ahead aha uh-huh. so this like i'm i'm so glad you again so jane eyre having been written back then i guess um i mean i i i feel deeply uh sorry that i have not been able to read an artist as of now i mean i'm i'm eager to read it as soon as possible i i see how 
Jane Eyre, despite having been written in the West, has left an impression on so many women. Probably henna artists will give representation to a lot more lives that are, that are you know, based here in the East and yet have agency. Because quite honestly, the, the women in the East having agency is something that has been written by some of the authors and who've been male, let's say Rabindranath Tagore. He has written women with agency. Um, there's this um, letter, uh, the wife's letter to her husband. That's an amazing, amazing thing. So that, that there have been instances here and there. But I think to have more representation, to see more women up there is amazing. I'm glad you've written what you've written and you've set it in a time wherein I can give it to my mother and say, Mama, why don't you read this? Maybe it will remind her of her desires and she'll talk to me. I mean, yeah. oh my gosh. You know, um, I loved uh, the last few years of my mother's life. I got a chance to know her in such a different way because I was alone with her and we were both adults. And uh, so she talked to me about her girlhood and about her um, school days and about her friends in a way that, you know, we had not really talked before. And I got to know what her desires would have been outside of the framework of the mother I had always known. Um, it's a it, lovely, it's, it's a lovely way to get to know your mother a, as an adult. It's, it's just, it's so wonderful to do that. Um, we're, we're getting all kinds of, um, uh, we're getting all kinds of, um, uh, comments about how, um, people are loving the roles that you are, uh, doing. And also, um, they, they're saying we need more movies like the Burb and that women have, changed their lives as a result of watching a movie like that. Now, when I, you did Sony, oh, I, I'm sorry, were you about to say something? I, I believe that, you know, uh, certain stories, certain, uh, certain, certain stories become those, uh, uh, they, they just play a part with all humanity. I would want to say that um, they don't really change, change lives. It's just that they, they make the transitions easier. They play a okay. part in healing. They strengthen you when you're about to decide things because I, I mean, it, it might actually change as well. I think it's, it's a dance of everything together. Things come together and then they take a shape and narratives like the Hen artist or Sony or Thapar, they, they, I think they make certain, Sony, is one of those things that can make people feel represented, which is, which again, makes you feel not alone. And not feeling alone as a human being is very, very important. Things like Thapar might not feel like representations. They, they might, apart from representation, they might touch the point of being inspirational. Sony for me is more like a representation wherein you feel, yes, I know what that feels like. Yeah. And then people who've never been, who've never been uh, empathetic enough, they end up noticing, oh, because I, I received messages from men saying, you know, I've not been a very, I've not been a, you know, a simple hearted people with sim simple languages. I've not been a very careful or feminist type of boy, but after having seen Sony, I will be, uh, my behavior will be better. And I'm like, okay, good enough, good enough. Yeah. Wow, what a rewarding thing to hear. Yes. Oh my gosh. So um, when you select a movie role, do you select it with the uh, social issues in mind or maybe, you know, the way it might, might uh, make that representation that you were just talking about? Well, when I get a, all right, so when I get a, as an actor, right now, my stature or my experience does not uh, allow me to ask for an entire script before I go for an audition, so oh. to say. Okay. Uh, but because after all, a film person, a person who's written a story, let's say if you've written a story, you would not be willing to share that entire story with every person who might audition. 
because from the day of the audition to the day the film will take place, it's going to be a long, long journey, let's say a year. And if out of 100 people who audition, 99 wouldn't get selected, your story then is not in safe hands, probably. So when I'm asked for an audition, I, I ask for a character sketch, I say a synopsis, then I always very politely put forward clearly a condition that in case the director likes my, my, my ability to give life to this character, before I sign the contract, I would read the entire script. That has always been there too. Like in Sony, the director agreed to it. For Thapar, the director agreed to it. My film before, so before Thapar and after Sony was Bara by Bara. There, the director agreed to it. So after having auditioned, after having been liked by, chosen by the director, I said, now it's my turn, chance to, my, my time to say, do I want to be a part? You've chosen me. Now see if I choose you or not. Show me the entire script. And it's been strange to some directors, but that is where the change begins. Because wow. not, not all the directors, but some of the casting people would tell me that, what do you think of yourself? You're asking for the entire script. <laughs> and I would tell them that I consider myself important to my own journey. Good. Good. I love that. I love that assertiveness. We have a wonderful comment here about assertiveness too. Uh, a woman who said she was married at 19 and that her daughter taught her how to be assertive as they grew older. And now she is living a far better life. So I, I don't, you know, it doesn't say in the comment what that means, but I think that uh, your story about being assertive and saying I'm important to this role and what I bring to it is important and so I need to see the full script I need to know the trajectory of this character yes that's that's what's important to me I I need to know how 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 much how much dignity the character has been given I also try to run it through the Bechdel test. Have you heard of the Bechdel test? No. Bechdel. It's, it's Bechdel test wherein um, you have to ask three questions about the script. Are there, um, is there a scene where there are only women characters and no male character? Is there a scene where they're talking to each other in the absence of every other male character and the subject of their conversation is not any man. And there's a third question as well. I guess I've, I've mixed these two. But you know, this test just has three questions. And trust me, you, most of the Bollywood films fail this test. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. So where, where did this test come from? How, how did you know about this test? Uh, so one of my, one of my uh, I co I, when I went to Bombay, the first uh, short film that was a part of, I had, I had uh, some experienced and fun loving and more confident actresses from all over the, like all over my country, because Bombay is some place where all the actors uh, leave their hometowns and be there to collaborate with like-minded people. So I became friends with Sangmitra Hitaishi there. She is an actress who, who her, her educational training like me is not from an institute, but uh, she, was the, she was a part of Berlin Talents in 2018 or 2017. So Berlin Talents is a talent development program wherein they choose 250 filmmakers from all over the globe. So she probably was, she was the first Indian actress to be there. I was the third Indian actress to be there this year. Wow, yeah. so, that's amazing. Woo, so South it, Asian women it, rule. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was, this time I was the only Indian woman there because all the other six people were males. Uh, all the storytellers, directors, Sony's director, Ivan, he was also there. So I'm, I'm, try, I'm digressing. <laughs> so when I, was, when I was working on my first short film in Bombay, I met Sangmitra and I, in my conversations with her, I realized it's, it's, it's important and it's, it is peaceful for one's mind and nourishing for one's identity 
it, it is really nourishing for one's own self to know that you're valued as an actor, as a human, as a character. So she, I think, ended up mentioning the test. I was like, what is it? She said, Google. I went home, Googled, and I was surprised to see that this simple method of tech testing makes you see through so much. Yeah. Like human beings like me or like you, like human beings for, for good health, they want to be happy for everyone wants, ha has a tendency towards seeking happiness. To seek happiness, we end up overlooking a number of things. Right. However, there, there are certain ways of testing. This is one test that has helped me uh, evaluate scripts all over. Then recently I, I was working on a film. So when, when a script comes, when a film comes to me, I look at the script. I look not only at how, what is the length of the character. I look also, I look not only at what my character is saying, but also at what, what is the director saying? What is his gaze like? So, okay. um, for example, in, by the way, somebody is asking, what is the test called again? It's, it's Bechdel. Uh, how do I, what do I do? Do I write it? Bechdel test. B-E-C-H-D-E-L. Okay. All right. Okay, here's a question. Alka and Githika, do you feel female bonding and companionship is important for women? You answer. Hmm. I believe it's absolutely... Uh, Human beings, it's really important. All of us, are, all of us are one. So it's really important, one, for human beings to be, uh, be to be good to each other. All of the humankind, all of the humankind, irrespective of gender, males, females, non-conformists. Then we look at the history a little, and I guess women for a very long time were trained to be competing with each other for because the breadwinners were the males and therefore the women should should compete with each other and the men would constantly train them to be you know prove themselves she i am better than her she's better than her but i think those times are gone by and we we need to put in conscious effort to let go of the competitive nature yeah we, we, we need to, we women need to really love each other. And I have, I have experienced. So for Reese to pick up your book and for me, for you to be talking to me, right when I shared my, uh, right when I shared the fact that I will be doing this live with you, Bhumi Pednikar, who's, who's an amazing actress and a very hardworking human being. And I have never met her in person. In terms of popularity, film career, her stature or her positioning is way beyond me in Bollywood. In terms of my journey has just started, she's way, way ahead. Several minutes before that, she had openly praised film, my, my film Thappar, and tagged me in the story. And I, I just looked at her. Then there came Chitrangada Satrupa. She's this uh, a Bengali, like Bengal, uh, Bengali person, but a Hindi actress as well. She also has done amazing work and she's so much more experienced and more popular than me. Both of them had written such kind words towards Aww. me. Tapsi, my co-actress, right, uh, yesterday had called me. She's like, where are you? Whenever you come to Bombay, come home. And trust me, for one woman to feel cared for by the other woman yes. is a very, very secure feeling. It's, it's so powerful. powerful. Yes. It is. We, you know, I can have differences with a male friend and differences with a female friend. That's, that's understandable. But I need to consciously overlook my differences with my female friends and strike a chord because there has to be a camaraderie. I mean, there has to be a woman to woman uh, connection. Yes. It's not like I will be, I will be forgiving to a woman just because she's a woman. Yeah. That, that won't be the case, but I certainly would be more lenient. I certainly yes. would be more caring just because yes. you're a woman. I, I, I will have a softer, uh, you know, place in my heart for you always. 
So for me, it's extremely important. One for human to human. Second, women to women. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, think? so well said. So well said. And you guys, I've forgotten to tell you who I am and who we're talking to today. I'm so sorry. Uh, my name is Elka Joshi, and I wrote a book called The Henna Artist. And Reese Witherspoon, who is also all about making uh, films that are women-centric, that really put women's issues front and center, uh, has chosen this book for her book club in May. And I encourage all of you guys to read it because it is about many different kinds of women in India living in the 1950s. You will see your mother in this role. You will see your grandmother in this book. You will see yourself maybe in this book. And um, I want to celebrate all the different women that are in this book because I think that even though women like my mother who couldn't live the life they always wanted to live, they didn't have the choices uh, that I, that my mother made sure I had, uh, they still passed it forward to people like me, to their daughters, to their nieces, to everyone else in their lives. And I so appreciate um, the women who have come before us. And I am talking today to Gita Gavidya, who is uh, an actress in India, starring in fabulous films that I just adore. Boy, the moment I saw Sony, I thought, oh, I have to get in touch with this woman. She is phenomenal in this role. I totally believe her in this role of a young police officer who is finding herself dealing with the politics of a situation rather than the actual work that needs to go forward to um, make, make a Delhi safe. And so um, I, I just, I love that about you. So. Um, you are just an amazing light, I think, in Indian cinema. And I only want to see great things for you, just like I want to see great things for everybody. For everybody who's watching, whether you're male, female, child, grown, grown person, whatever. But um, there are good things for all of you in store. You just, I think you just have to have an intention that says, I want to do some good in this world.